your boy Reese Boy back with another video. Are you good? Are you good? Are you good? Okay, so me and Jama are randomly parked on the side of the road, guys. I can show you where we are. Look at this, guys. We're just li literally parked on the round the, the the road. Over there is a wall. That way. Jama wanted to get this really pretty scenery of this beach area where there's a lake, and we're just parked over here, guys. Just literally just. I'm waiting for Jama to come. Hopefully I can see her. I can't even see her. So if something happens to her, I can't see her. But anyways, I wanted to do a mega, mega, mega shout out, guys, to my mom and dad. It is their 40, 42nd anniversary, guys. They've been married for 42 years. So that is a big milestone, guys, to be married for 42 years. I mean, I guess 60 is a big one, but they're heading that way, guys. And they still love each other and they're still together and they have six kids and eight grandchildren so congrats to my mom and dad shout out to y'all love y'all proud of y'all uh they showed me what a true marriage is and that's amazing a lot of people nowadays don't even stay married i can't even get married technically because i have to i lose all medical benefits from my dad from the air force if i get married so i can't get married so i could probably have a living partner or something but i can't get married so that sucks but i don't know i might divide that and just do what i want to do but anyways guys um thank you for everyone who was in my live today thank you to aya thank you to the princess thank you to everybody who was in my uh live today guys it was amazing it was amazing it was amazing guys amazing amazing um shout out shout out to everybody thank you guys for support supporting me um thumbs up on this video guys let's get some more videos guys um support me more please 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 guys um i'm trying to get monetized really quick this year guys or this this week or next week guys please um if i get monetized guys i'm doing a big 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 balloon or something that says something some type of balloon or whatever guys um that will say thank you probably pretty much thank you guys if i get to 3k guys i'm gonna do another balloon that says 3k so it's gonna say three zero 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 um just and say congrats because that's because you guys love me enough you guys did that for me so i appreciate that so much guys because you guys don't understand how much this has changed my life but that's besides the point i don't want to keep always rehashing this stuff guys so guys so for the rest of this year guys i'm going to be working really hard on getting to my goal of two 250 okay guys i'm so close i'm just need to work a little bit harder and i'm going to start doing weigh-ins again so you guys can see me because i know you guys have been asking about the weigh-ins what happened to the weigh-ins guys so i'm going to be doing a lot more weigh-ins guys so get ready for that hold on let me turn the brightness up because i feel it's a little dark so i'll be doing some more weigh-ins guys so get ready for those videos to come back so comment below if you guys want to know what my actual weight is right now it's right now it's 315 it hasn't changed for uh, i think pretty much the whole year um almost the whole year uh no because january i was like still in the four so i think like late late april is when i jumped down into the threes so probably april was when i got into the threes yeah because when i came back from ohio i was like four something and I wanted to, ex yeah, because when I was in, when I was in, not Ohio, when I was in Washington, D.C., we did so much walking. I wanted to be in the threes when I, because I was so close. I was like 401, 402, something like that. And I wanted to be in the threes so bad. And as soon as I came back, took a shower, dried off to get off all my water weight. The next morning I weighed and I was 399. I was like, oh my God, I made it to the threes. So God answered that prayer. I have not been in the threes, guys, since 2014. So that was like amazing for me to be in the threes. And then um, my whole family was like excited for me. My sisters that I told them that my goal was to get into the threes were like, congrats, bro. We're really proud of you. I'm trying to find the keys because it's hot. They were like really proud of me. They were like, congrats. We're proud of you, Matt. Keep up the good work. Keep doing what you're doing. You got this. You got this. I need to shave again, guys. Um, You got this. You got this. But... I was like really, 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 really thankful for that. That was amazing. But something else that I wanted to talk to you guys about that I kind of talked about in today's live. And I was actually watching, um, guys, go check out Kobe Brock's live, guys. And he was talking about how far he's came from because of social media and because how he grew. And it's just amazing to watch like YouTubers that you were like looking up to even, and it doesn't matter what age they are, um, that you were looking up to that have changed drastically for the better. You know, some have changed for the worse, some has changed for the better. Um, and I've already shared that with you guys, the people who I used to watch that I don't even support anymore because I feel like they're changing for the worst. Um, but sorry guys, I have to wait. 
But yeah, I'm really proud of him to see that he got over his shyness and all that different stuff. And and he's he grows every year to be a better person. And I think that's, it's so true what he said. Like you do, you do grow every year. Like this time, like two, this time last year, guys, or no, this time, like this time, 2018, I would have never been doing YouTube ever. This time, like 2000, well, I had a YouTube channel, but I wasn't posting on it. I was focusing more on TikTok. Um, but you literally have to, you literally have to like take a bad situation and you got to turn it into something positive. And that was really what my live was about today was about positivity, about how when you're dealing with the depression or you're dealing with anxiety, if you're dealing with being bullied, we really, I really like that we talked about being bullied. I really love that we had that co that conversation. People ask a lot of good questions. Like, how did I deal with it? How did I get through it? Different stuff. And I really think that I really commend people for that. And I think that's amazing that people were able to open up and talk about how they were bullied you know and i think that that's amazing that you can learn from your mistakes and do a 360 and and turn it into a positive situation i think that that's amazing um some people don't some people get very suicidal some people get very depressed some people do stuff that they regret later in life because of just a really low moment in your life and my 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 um my knowledge for you guys my understanding for you guys my help for you guys and to be here for you guys is just reach out to someone find someone that you trust and if you guys trust me then that's cool i'm awesome with that trust me guys i love you guys for that that's amazing trust me but if you guys don't you guys want someone that you can trust that you can see and that you can sit next to and all that stuff i understand that 100 find someone that you trust in your family that you believe in and that you know 100 percent will not throw it back in your face me it took me a long time to trust people because i've been hurt so bad and it takes a lot for you to let people in and depression and anxiety and ptsd and nerve and being nervous it's no joke people literally get ulcers get sick to the point where they can't even like do anything bulimia bulimia is no joke food disorder is no joke like a lot of stuff happens to people out of depression and anxiety and just feeling like you don't the unknown like not knowing stuff like me i don't know where my youtube career is going to take me and i stress out about it i stress out about it so much to the point where like sometimes i get tired of doing youtube because i stress out about it so much but what i have to tell myself is that this is fun i have to tell myself this literally every single day that this is fun to keep me going because if i don't tell myself that i could easily stop i could easily stop but I'm like, I can't because I have so many fans and I'm people that looking up, looking up to me. And I have so many people that are depending on me because I get comments all the time. Like, oh my gosh, I watched your video and you made me happy today. Or, oh my gosh, I came across your channel when I was really, really sad and you inspired me to do something with my life. Or, oh my goodness, I lost over 250 pounds just watching your videos, watching your journey. Or, oh my goodness, I don't watch any other YouTuber except you because there's just something about you that pulls me in. Like... I'm not doing that for clout and I'm not doing that for fame and I'm not doing that to be fake. I'm doing that because I want to be real with you guys and I want to be one with you guys and I want you guys to understand who I am. And like, I want you guys to just know that it's true. Like, it's not fake. Like, I've had people say, I hope you're, I hope you are as real as you are on camera when we meet you in person. And I said 100%, even probably even more than what I am on camera when you guys meet me. You guys will probably be amazed when you meet me because you'll say, wow, he really is what he puts on camera. And a lot of people are not, but there's a lot of people that are. Like, I mean, I commend a lot of people. Like, I commend Sam and Kobe. I commend um, Cameron Dallas. I commend people who can learn from their mistakes and keep going and keep keep driving from it and not just letting it control them and take them down and not prospering from it. Like learn from your mistakes like i mean right now kanye west is having a meltdown and people are hating on him for it but it's like no like understand that understand that if you have mental issues get help for it seek help for it but at the same time don't turn it into a negativity because so many people deal with mental illness so many celebrities deal with mental illness and they don't talk about it because they're embarrassed to talk about it but i think more people should talk about it I mean, I say that with a lot of stuff. I say that with a lot, a lot of stuff. I feel like men who are like, feel that you're weak of a person if you deal with anxiety or depression. I hate that. I hate that with a passion. Own who you are. If you deal with it, then own it and live with it. And don't 
Don't try to minimize it and don't try to act like, oh, I don't have it. No, you're wrong. I don't have it. Like, that is so dumb to me. Like, own it and get help for it. You know how long it took me to see a counselor? I went through seven counselors until I found the right one. Seven. Because I did not trust any of them. And, the, and, and I mean, God knew what he was doing by bringing me that last counselor. He just... He did hypnotist therapy on me and opened up so many doors that were closed. If he didn't come in 2018 like he came, oh my goodness, guys. I would have never been able to do my surgery. There's no way. There's no way I would have been able to do my surgery because I would have never focused on doing my surgery. I would have not wanted to focus on my surgery. I just put some hand sizing on me. So, I mean, it's just like, it's different, guys. It's really different. It's really, really, really different. You got to love and you got to respect people. And you got to be, you got to be who you can be, guys. No matter what happens, no matter what the person says, you got to just live your life and be happy. And don't let anybody tell you different. Don't let anyone tear you down. Don't let anyone, don't let anyone lie to you. Don't let anyone cheat you. Don't let anyone put their hands on you. Do not, do not. Let anyone put their hands on you. If someone's putting their hands on you, you get out of the relationship. Do not stay in that relationship. I don't believe in that. That makes me so angry. They better not put their hands on you in front of me because I go crazy for anybody, any man that puts their hand on a woman or a child. Oh my God, I go crazy for that person. Like, I don't care. Even if I don't know you, I still, I don't care. I'm not going to sit there and let them put their hands on you. Now, if you stay with the person, that's on you. But if I try to help you get out of that situation and get you better help, then you need to listen and you need to take my advice. But if you're like, mind your business, stay in your lane, then fine. You want to stay in that situation, let someone put their hands on you. But I say a man that puts his hands on a woman or a child, you're weak. You're a weak person. You're weak. I'm not talking about discipline and I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about like, you know, whatever. But I'm talking about like full on abuse. You're a weak person. You're a weak person if you put your hands on a woman. Someone that can't fight back, especially if you know that they're weak and you you take advantage of that situation you're a weak person you're not a man in my book you're you're a child that has anger issues you're not a man in my book you're not and that's how i feel that's how i feel 100 percent. i've been abused i've been hit i've had people put their hands on me i've had stuff happen to me and those people were all weak all those people were weak that were in my life every one of them who put their hands on me were weak my ex-girlfriend put her hands on me all the time she was a weak person she's a weak person and when you allow people to tell you that you're garbage and you're trash and you'll never be anything then you're going to allow that to keep happening and allowing people to keep putting their hands on you. And it's not right. Get out of the situation. Get out of it. I'm telling you, get out of the situation. Because at the end of the day, something bad could happen to you or to your child. Get out of the situation. Leave. There are so many. There's a 1-800 number for help. There's abuse hotlines. There is suicide hotlines. There are um, homes. There's different things for people. There's a lot that you can do to get help, okay, guys? Please get help. Listen, if you take anything from Reese Boy, get help, please, please. If you're in a abusive situation, get help, please. I love you guys. I take that seriously, like seriously to a heart attack. Do not stay in an abusive situation. It's not worth it. It's not worth it at all. It's not. I've been in one. I did seven years in a relationship like that. I was abused when I was a little kid and I still have nightmares from it. So there's a different stuff that happens to you when you're abused, when someone puts their hands on you. Get out of the situation. It's not worth it. It's not worth sitting there and allowing someone to, oh, it only happened one time. I forgive that person. Or, oh, it's not going to happen again. Or, oh, baby, I'm sorry, but you drove me to it. No one drives you to put your hands on someone. That's You have an anger problem. That's the problem. You need to go get help. And if they won't go get help, all you got to do is pick up the phone and call someone and I bet you anything they get help because they'll be scared. Don't ever, don't ever let someone put their hands on you. Don't ever, ever. I'm telling you, I'm just, it makes me angry when I think about it because a lot of people, and see, I'm getting even emotional about it. A lot of people stay in relationships because they feel like they're not worth it. They're not worth anyone helping them. That's a lie. People will help you. There's so many people there to help you. There's so many um, agencies. I'm here to help you. Just talk to me. Reach out to me. I read my DMs. I read my messages on YouTube. I answer. I definitely answer. I try to. And if you guys want to talk to me personally, add me on Messenger. I'm on Messenger, guys. Okay? Matt Cross on Messenger. Or find me on Reese and Jama on you on tick on Instagram, guys. Or I'm on Twitter. Matt Cross or Reese Reese Boy. I think it's Reese S Boy 30 on Twitter or just Reese Boy. You'll see me, guys. I'm there. Um, 
But yeah, guys, just DM me if you guys need help, if you guys need someone to talk to you, if you need someone to listen to you, message me. I got you, okay? Don't be in an abusive situation. It's not worth it. It's not. It's not. I promise you, it's not. It's not healthy. It's It messes with your mentality. It messes with who you are. It messes with... It will scar your children for life. If your children are in that situation, watching you be abused, watching people put their hands on you, they, you will, they will, um, they'll have no respect for you when you get older. None. They'll say, well, I watch you let dad put his hands on you, or I watch you let mom put her hands on you. You're weak. You're weak. They're going to have no respect for you later because they're going to say, why? You're not even a man or you're not even a woman. You let someone dog you and treat you like dirt. No, 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 no. Nope. 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 I am a big advocate for domestic violence or any type of violence that happens to men, uh, to men, women, and children, not just, just, not just children and animals and animals and people with disabilities and old people. I don't like any type of form of abuse. None, none. Guys, just wait. Just wait until I can put my book out. Just wait until I can do more. There's so much more that I want to do to help people. And that's why I'm begging you guys so much for help with my watch time and my subscribers. Like, I want to reach more people. I want to reach more, more networks. I want to do a lot more. Like, I've watched you guys help so many other YouTubers opening their dreams and helping them start their platforms. And I'm not trying to do a comparison sense. And I'm not trying to be jealous of anybody. I'm proud of those people. But I feel like I want this so bad and I feel like I need to do this to help people, to tell people about, yes, you can have a disability, but you're not going to let that control you. Yes, you're going to have moments when you're sad and depressed and you feel like you don't even want to go on anymore. But at the end of the day, deep down in your soul, you know you can keep going because there's something at the end of the tunnel that says, I got this. I can do this. And if you have children, that should be your motivation to leave the situation or to better yourself. If you have children. I don't have children. Believe me, if I had a son or a daughter or both or whatever, oh my gosh, guys, I wouldn't even have time for YouTube because I'd be working my butt off to support my child or I would be doing YouTube, but we'd be a family channel. Like there's so much more that I would have done with my life if I would have had a child at a young age. There's so much more. And I actually stopped the cycle because my birth mom had my her first son, her first child when she was 17. Her mother had her at 17. She had me when she was 18. I was I had a scare at 18, but it wasn't my baby. But it would have kept the cycle going. My other brother had his baby at 18. So it's like the cycle kept going, but it skipped me. So did being an alcoholic because she was an alcoholic. And my brother was an alcoholic and drugs, but it skipped me. So see, God can choose what he wants you to take from your birth parent. You can have the good or the bad. Um, I got the good. I mean, I got... I was born with a disability, but that's like, I feel like the best thing that's ever happened to me. Now, I hated it before. Um, I think I'm still learning if I really care for it, um, being honestly. Um, and I have asthma because of her, and I have depression because of her, and I have abandonment issues because of her. But I mean, hey, it comes with being adopted. No one can say that they're totally happy that they're adopted. I mean, they can, but you're still in the back of your head, still going to have abandonment issues. I don't believe people who say, oh, I'm not, I don't feel that. No, you feel it. You feel it. You feel it. If you talk to anybody that, if you get a hundred people that were adopt, uh, been adopted, they tell you about abandonment issues. I bet you anything they would tell you. Look it up. It's on YouTube. It's on the Google. It's out there. Look it up. You'll see it. There's a lot of people who were, who have abandonment issues because they were adopted. You can see it in their, in their eyes, in their mouth, the way that they talk, the way that they act. You see it. They have a lot of resentment towards their birth mother for giving them up. That's what they feel like. It might have been a better life, but they feel it. They still feel it and they're still angry about it because they feel like, why did that person give them up? Why couldn't that person keep them? You know, why could you keep the other siblings, but not me? Like they have that too problem, but I love you guys. Make sure to like and subscribe, turn on my notification bell. I'll see y'all with another video, guys. Be live again tomorrow, guys. Come in, come in, come in, guys. Help me, help me, help me, guys. This week, please, please, please was my watch time. Please, guys. Just keep my videos going, guys. I love you. Peace.